Hello, I'm Roger Bisby from the Skill Builder channel. And I'm Dan Cox from Essential Carpenter Tools. Now, every time Dan makes a video with us on Skill Builder, people are very interested in the pens and pencils he uses. What are you using, Dan? What are those? And, and it is our most popular item now, just because people have picked up on it. So I thought I'd ask Dan what you use and why you use it, and perhaps what you think of the others. Right, okay, watch it up. So I'm currently using this picker. Yeah. Pika. Pika, Pika. But and then we've got the tracers as well. Originally, I had a tracer. I bought two. I gave one to Alan. He loved his. But when I was pushing down on mine, the lead kept going up inside. Yeah. So that's quite solid, that one. I actually took it back and got another one, and it wasn't much better, so I was not over happy with it. And then when I see this picker with a much bigger lead... So it's that's got a, a nice big yeah, fat lead on yeah, it. So yeah, so I really like the big fat lead on it, basically. Okay. And, it's, uh, and it, this picker's been great. It stopped working. That's why I bought this one. It got wet and you get like residue on the lead. Oh, okay. So it couldn't grip it on the barbs. It dried out and it's back to great again. So I've got a spare. So don't get them wet, basically. So don't try go, not to get them too wet. With your pen, no, it's no pencil. good underwater. The other thing to do, if it doesn't grip, is to take the lead out <laughs> and give it a good blow down there to get rid of any residue. Got it. Because it does like build up in there, it seems. So a good uh, clearing so you, out. So do you load it from that end? Then, you can go it? both ways, but I've put them in there before. You're doing that and nothing really happens. So I've got... I've, you just push them up that way? Yeah. Like you say, it's a barb. So once it's it catches it, it's it won't pull it up. So you can yeah, now yeah. see it, it's there. Got it. But what I like about it is you can be in an awkward position, just go to mark something, your lid snapped off, you can quickly whack it on now. And, and you're back in, yeah. yeah you're back so in it's right where you're up there and your lead's actually broke. You haven't got to worry about sharpening it like the traditional pencils. That one is just lead. Yes. That's all. Yes, this one is, I yeah. noticed some of the other markers, like um, the Tracer. Yes. And this one from Ox. That one from Ox. That, they mark on glass because they give you different... You've got different leads there and we've got plastic, crown, block. basically. Yes. Yeah. Uh, metal, wood, plastic, block and glass. Yeah. So, you, you know, it's very versatile. So they give you three different markers. I don't know what you do after that. I've not seen their replacement leads in the no. shops, but presumably they've got them. This one. That's very nice, tracer, isn't it? Yeah. The tracer, we've got that nice little carousel there with the leads that pop in there. So nice storage. So you keep them all in there. Yeah. And you can swap over for a crown if you're marking on glass or whatever. Yes. Yeah. So that's very yeah, handy, that idea. really. It's nice but your favourite, you're still I mean, with the, the peaker, are you? I mean, that tracer there, you know, that is holding up nicely, so I can't... And they're very popular, you see all the lads with tracers on Instagram. Yeah. So they're all, they're all probably made at the same factory, yeah. are they? Another thing I will say is, if we look at that, that's your fat one, OK? Mm. Your broad one. These will go through a small hole, so if you're trying to mark deep hole marking, yes. that's better. And also, they've got another one there, haven't they? This one here does that, so you can get through quite a small... And that's ink. That is ink, yeah. In the end, so yeah. presumably you have to get a new ink cartridge. Get, yeah, I've not looked into this, but yeah, I think you must have a cartridge in there. I'll tell you what, they don't bother, probably because nobody ever reads them, they don't bother with instructions now. You have to go on... On YouTube. YouTube to find out how to use it. So there you go. Don't look at us. But yeah, <laughs> so the tracers and the pickers are the ones. Okay. The main ones. And now, then obviously, so we've got sorry, sorry. traditional ones there as well. Yeah, yeah. So you still well, use those or not? Yeah, occasionally. I've still got one, probably got one in there. But the best ones were the Black Edge, the original ones. Ah. The, the wood around them, it's much easier for cutting off with a standing knife. Yeah, yeah. There's sure. loads around there, isn't it? We've got a Wix's one. Yeah, they fall apart some of these. Yeah, you they? start sharpening like, them, the lead yeah, falls out. Yeah, they, they do frustrate me those a little bit. Um, okay, so what do you think? I mean, let us know. That's what Dan thinks. That's what I think, for what it's worth. And we'd love to know what you think. What's your favourite pen? Have you got another one that we've never heard of? Pencil, pen, whatever. Marker. Let's call it a marker. Marker. <laughs> Come back and see us soon on Skill Builder. Might have some more interesting products to look at. Um, oh, yeah, good old-fashioned yep. one. Pencil boards. <laughs> <laughs>